And Vladimir Putin is in a world of hurt right now. Uh, Russian soldiers have given up about 3,000 square miles of Ukrainian territory they once held firmly. Uh, and, you know, tomorrow he's meeting with China's Xi Jinping. Curious timing there. What does Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg think of that? The former National Security Advisor under Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, General, what do you think of just the timing issue? Yeah, the interesting timing. Thanks, Neil, for having me. Look, there's an ebb and flow to every war. that, And right now we're seeing the flow go to Ukraine. They made massive uh, incursions into the territory that the Russians held, 3,000 miles. But look, Russia still had about 20 percent of Ukrainian territory, but they have lost a lot of equipment. They've lost, the Russians have a lot of real good units have been shattered. The morale is bad on the Russians' part. The leadership is bad on the Russians' part. And Putin needs to be concerned. But I'll tell you, here's the key, though, Neil, and I really believe this. Look to the south. That's where the whole war is going to be decided, around Kherson, around Mikhailov. If the Ukrainians can push and they can move those offensives down there and they cut off Crimea from the, from the Russian offensive that, that started a few months ago, and they can hold on to that and then put penetrations into Crimea, then I think the Russian army falls. And I think after the Russian army falls with his strategic defeat, Putin falls as well. So if I was Ukraine right now, if I was I advising him, I said, I got, kind of got it in the north around Kharkiv. Now make a big effort in Mikhailov and around Kherson. Try to close that gap, cut off Crimea, and then take Crimea. And take a, a, a part of that nation back, Ukraine, that was given up in 2014. I think that that's when you see the end of Putin. Do you think that China, this is the first meeting between Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin since yeah. before the war. Uh, how, how do you think China is handling this or how uh, much uh, Xi yeah. Jinping himself is saying, all right, forget it, Vlad, you know, find a way to get out of this? <laughs> well, I think, I, I think, I think President Xi is very happy he doesn't speak Russian <laughs> and it has to be translated so he can be very circumspect. But I think he's looking at it as an economic level. He's not helping him at all militarily. I think it was a bad handshake deal now and Xi knows that. But Xi's got a longer game. He's helping him obviously economically with the purchase of oil from Russia. But I, I think I would hope he would caution Putin about what he's engaged in in Ukraine. But I don't think Putin really cares. But I think they're going to be a little bit of hands off with, with China. And, and it, because China is very pragmatic. You know, when I listened to both of them in the Trump administration, we'd be on calls with either Putin or with, with Xi. Xi was always very, very circumspect, always very pragmatic. And he was almost a little bit aloof. And I think he's going to be that way with Putin. They may be meeting, but uh, she's going to kind of kick, t step back a bit and kind of tell Putin, you know, you got a problem. you got to handle this. I'm not going to get involved with it. Yeah, real quickly, General, I always get the idea, you're the expert, but uh, that, that Xi is almost like ashamed <laughs> of the guy, that he's like, oh, really? You, you, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's gotten to this? <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. I think yeah, that's what I said about the ban headshake at the Olympics. This was a mistake. And, you know, and look, the, I think the entire world, 95 percent of it, thought the Russians were going to roll right over Ukraine. And I'm sure that she's thought the same thing. Mm -hmm. He now sees a very weak in Russia. He sees a very weak in Putin. And he doesn't want to get his hands dirty with this because he realizes the global implications of a lot of nations now pushing back against Russia. And he wants to kind of stay out of it. Maybe a wise strategy. Uh, General, thank you very much and for your service yeah. to this incredible country. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.